Okay. You'll see why I have weasels there. Now, if you need more help other than my class on the quadratic formula, would you on the PDFs on your iPads, if you just click on that little button there, then yeah. Yeah, I know I was shocked at that too. If you click on that little button, then you can get a little video. It's about ten minutes long, I think, on quadratic formula. So let's look at what the quadratic formula is gonna be about. Yes, we'll get there. So now <laughs> excuse me. Here is a quadratic equation. I want you to see why we're doing this. There are other kinds of equations. You have y equals mx plus b. That's a linear equation. Those are lines. Quadratic equations are always parabolas. <laughs> okay? Now, when you now I could show you how to solve this. What I want to do is find where the, what the parabola crosses the x-axis. Well, the y-coordinate, which is this, is zero. So zero equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So if I'm trying to solve a problem and I can model it mathematically with a quadratic equation, which is really nice because they behave nicely, then I can solve. And these are always solvable. Okay, Jane? You can always solve a quadratic equation. This is a cubic equation. Those look like that. I can always solve a cubic equation if I'm willing to go and do the research and find out what the formula is. It's not easy. You may think quadratic formula is complicated, but it's much easier than the cubic one. Beyond that, if I have y equals ax to the 4, there is no formula that I can use to get a solution where it crosses the x axis. The only ones that can be solved are the linear ones, mx plus b, the quadratic ones, and we're not going to do the cubic ones. We're basically going to say we can't do that either. So it's nice to be able to do this because I have the formula. So I can solve. And the formula looks like this. x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you need all the parts. You need all the parts. Some people were just doing the top part. I go, you can't do that. You've got to give me all of them. This part right here, <coughs> the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, not with the square root, but just the b squared minus 4ac tells you how many solutions. If this is a positive number, there are two places the graph crosses the x-axis. If it's zero, there's only one. You'll see as you get into this. And if it's a negative number, I'm always happy when it's a negative because there aren't any solutions. So I'm done. Okay? Yeah, well, and you guys can sing it. We can play it a couple times. Okay, so the goal of the quadratic formula is to tell us what the solutions are, where the parabola crosses the x-axis. That's the whole point of the quadratic formula. You get there. You get there. <laughs> so there it is. You got it on the slide. I think I really write down. That's the quadratic formula. Okay, do I have my sound? No, I gotta make sure I have computer sound. I do. Okay. Yeah. That's a weasel. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we will. Oh, maybe I can just do this. Why can't I get this over here? I know, but I don't know why I can't get it to go again.
No, I'll spring it up again. I had problems with that earlier today too. Okay, ready? <coughs> you guys can sing along with it. There are other, there are other, um, songs. Okay, one more time. It's not, it doesn't like it. I did, it didn't work. This is easier to do this. <laughs> okay. So we have three prompts, and I want you to do them with me. Huh? Yeah, it was still fun day. Hey, can you remind me? Hey, you guys ready? Okay. You know, what we did with this originally was factor it, and this one factors. But what if you can't factor it? And what if you don't see what the factors are? So we're going to use quadratic formula because it always works. Matter of fact, in Europe, they don't teach kids how to factor. They always use the quadratic formula. So, what's A? <laughs> okay, so it looks to me that we have this part of it down. B is negative 2 and C is negative 3. Now, if you don't write the formula down, I think you'll get confused. So, if X equals, now this one, let me do one at least. Opposite of B plus or minus, we'll talk about the plus or minus, how to deal with that, the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I love that. Good. Okay, we'll give you the formula, but if you write it down on the assignment every single time you do a problem, you'll know it. And you could probably ask your parents if they know the quadratic formula, go home and sing the song. Don't. They should. Yes. Because I'm older than your parents, and we sang it. So they should. Okay. Now, it's a formula. It's like a recipe. It tells me exactly what to do. You need a pencil? I want you to write this down. So I'm going to substitute in. And I'm not going to substitute in, because what happens is, you guys forget the parentheses and you mess it up. So let's not do that. Let's make it easier than that. <laughs> See, it does work. Okay, Shh. You guys, we're going to make this easy if you listen. This says, do the opposite of B, Jane. There's B. What's the opposite of B? What's the opposite of B? Positive 2. Okay, no, it's 2 plus or minus. Hey, Sayla. Now, Sayla, what's b squared? Now, now, if you did the homework, this is exactly what we've been doing. Okay, Nick, what's b squared? Four. Four. Because it's negative 2 times negative 2. Remember, I told you, if you have a square, it's always going to be positive if we're talking about real numbers, not imaginaries. Hey, Jack? Hey, guys. Minus 4 times A times C. Now, I've, I'm a little sloppy with my radical. Okay, Jane, you should be writing this down. Good. What am I putting in for A now? Okay, A is 1 and C is negative 3. Some of you are having difficulties with simplifying that. This is always where the problem is, is the discriminant. Now, my other class, they didn't want to write down the divided by 2a. Have to. It's not right. It's 2 times a. What's a? 
One. Wait. J, put your iPad down. We don't need a calculator for this. Okay, Jane. Okay. Oh, wait. So this is four. Now, what's going to happen with these two negatives? Anytime C, if A is positive, if C is negative, it's always going to turn out to be a plus. And four times three is twelve. All over what? Two. Now we're not done yet. Because, and Jay had this question yesterday, how do I get the plus? Because that's a minus. I did. Minus, and that's a minus, and two negatives make a positive. Okay. So x equals two plus or minus the square root of what? Okay, guess the moving. 4 plus 12 is what? 12. Oh. 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 Good, 16. Okay. Should I have it all written down. Now, can I do the square root of 16? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I don't know if you know what to do with this plus or minus thing. Okay, so x equals, now what you do is you do 2 plus 4 over 2. Because that's how you get plus or minus is red. Cause because, remember, if my discriminant, which is 16, if it's positive, how many answers should I get? Yeah. 2. So I've got this one, and I've got the other one. 2 minus 4 all over 2. It's a mathematical shorthand. That's what it is. We're lazy. Math and boiling. That's right. So x is equal to 6 over 2, which is 3. Now, positive 1, what else is it? It's negative 2 over 2, so it's negative 1. Now, how do I know, Jane, if I did it right? How? Good. If this is a solution, okay, you guys? If those are solutions, I should be able to put x equal to 3 back into the equation and get a true state. Now we're only going to do problems 1 through 11 because the, the other last three, we maybe we'll deal with those on Monday, but that's enough for you to do and we'll deal with what happens when it's not zero. But when you solve any equation, if you can remember that, Jane and Nick, any equation in algebra, you always want it equal to zero. So if it's not zero, you have to force it to be zero by changing the terms around so you get zero. Okay, put that down. Do I have to take it away? Okay, close it. Thank you. Okay, let's put three in there. What's three squared? Nine. Nine minus two times three minus three. So it's nine minus six minus three. Is that zero? Emma, is that zero? Nine minus six. Yeah, minus three. Let's try the negative one. Now, I'm not going to show the substitution. I'm just going to square it, so it's one. Because negative one squared is always one. And you give me square and negative, it's always positive. You'll never get a negative. So, negative one times negative one is positive. Minus two times negative one, I'll show the substitution. Is that equal to zero? This is one, what's going to happen here? Plus two. It's going to add. Is that zero? India, is that zero? India. Is this zero? Yes. So I did do it right. Okay. When we solve, <coughs> when we solve this, we got three. And we got negative one. Because this is negative two divided by two. This is 2 minus 4, not 4 minus 2. The negative 2, positive 2, plus positive 3, it's 2 plus 4. Different problem. Okay. Let's try that one. Let's get it set up. What's A? B. 
negative 2, c is 15. Oh, what was the discriminant in the last one? I forgot to do that. It says, it says find the discriminant. What's, what's the discriminant? It's just the number under the radical. It's 16. Okay. So we're going to find the discriminant here. And I, you'll like it. I like it at least. Because I know what it's going to do. And here's the formula. And I'm going to come around. If somebody wants to come up here and put their work up here, that's fine. All over 2A. Okay, if you write the formula down, it's so much easier. So give it a try, I'll come around and help you. Okay, so you got 2. This is the first thing. Can you substitute it in? 4 minus 4 times 4 times 15 all over 2a. Now, that's the reason why I want you to check your answers online. What is b squared is this number squared. What's negative 2? Because it's 2 times a. What's a? Okay, gents? Because the formula is 2a. It's a recipe. Have you ever followed a recipe and forgotten to do something in the recipe? And it doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so when I got guys, you didn't have homework. Okay. I not sure what the problem is with this, because you know what? That's the discriminant. What's the order of operations here? Okay, Jens? Four times four. Nice. Focus. I have to do this. So if you multiply it out, actually if I do that, that's 60. 60 times 4 is 240. Is that a positive or negative number? It's less than zero. Therefore, how many answers are there? None. Because you can't square root a negative. No solution. Empty set. Okay, we're going to try another one, which happens to be problem number one on your worksheet. Oh, which you don't have yet. I think so. Okay, James, what's A? B. C is... Okay, you guys know the quadratic formula? X equals the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Some of you are resisting writing it down. And then some of you are resisting keeping everything there. You just want to do the top. We'll come back and do the 2A later. Don't do that. It's wrong. There's communication here, too. Okay. So give it a try. Nick, this is not done. We had a worksheet like this. We have to simplify 84. Do you remember how we did that? We divided by 2. Unless you know if it works. 2 goes into 84 how many times? Joey? That's your assignment for today. Big Jack, the assignment that's due for today, if I didn't get yesterday's, I need that, and I need the yellow one today, but if you, this is what you had to do for today. We had to simplify that radical. No, 2 doesn't go into 21. 3. Okay, so I have this. It's negative 2 plus or minus. Now, what comes out? Joey, have a seat, please. I'm not done. No, not done. What comes out of there? Kate, what's the match? Two. Two. Yeah, what is three times seven? Twenty-one. All over eight. Now, we're still not done because that can be simplified. 
because what we're going to do, make a little face or whatever, we're going to divide 8 into this one and 8 into that one. So it's negative 2 over 8 plus or minus 2 square root of 21 over 8. What is 2 8 as a fraction then? Very good, Taylor. 2 goes into 2 once, goes into 8 four times. So the, yep, yep. Ah, yeah. Not size. Okay, Nick? J? So this is negative one fourth. <coughs> We're going until I'm done. So if we don't get done when the class is over, then oh well. Hey okay, guys, the square root of 21 over 4. Now, there's two answers. You get a negative 1 fourth plus the square root of 21 over 4. Or, you get the negative 1 fourth minus the square root of 21 over 4. There's two answers, but we knew there were two answers, because what's the discriminant? Let's look up here. What's the discriminant? 84. Positive. How many answers should I get? Two answers. Okay, that's what you have to do in those problems. It's going to take time, and unfortunately, it's a lot of time in class. So you think they got Thank you. You want to try number two? Because we're almost out of time. Where it says x equals? That's the answers. Right here. I even wrote it with an x, I think, didn't I? Oh, I should have. x equals this or x equals that. Monday... We're going to change these ra uh, uh, radicals to decimals. Okay, guys, listen carefully. Nick, Monday, we're going to continue this and change them to decimals. We're going to need to use a calculator. If you use a four function calculator, it's hard. If you use it 8384, you can just type it in as written and done. You don't have to simplify it for you to use a calculator. Matt. Matt. Question? Right there. Yeah. It's just, right, it's just a number. I don't know what it is. It's just a number. But that will do on Monday. So you have 10 levels left to do. We're not doing 12, 13, or 14. So you can do them for extra credit. I don't think it'll be on the assessment. Yes.